We just couldn't quite get through the full season without the weather having an impact. But on the bright side, we got a mini Sports Express for you. Tons of games moved up tonight for the start of the final week of the regular season. First up, it's the number one eight-man team in the state, Gilman on the road in Athens. Blue Jays quarterback Daxton Didelm rolls out, but it's picked off by Colby Keepers, and he takes it to the house for the Pirates. And you know what? They look to tack on two more. Troy Dillman carrying his way across the goal line, and that makes it 8 nothing early. Some great defense would force the three and out for Athens and the return man, Chad Kinsella, taking it the other way, setting up that elite offense with great field position. The best team in the state looking like it tonight behind their freshman quarterback, Logan Halita. He tosses it to Tony Surachek and the back does the rest. Pirates keep rolling 60 to six. Next, just down the road, the Pittsville Panthers looking to clinch their playoff berth against the Albi Falcons, who already punched their ticket. Senior night, and it's only right to ride the man who's done it all year. Quarterback J.B. Castillo taking the draw, nine yards for seven. Panthers turn now, and they do it to perfection, marching 80 yards and capping it off with a short scamper from Dawson Luther. Coach Dewar calling it like I do on Madden. Kellen Getson are bringing in the two-point conversion, and that gives him the lead. And even if you know he's coming, you can't stop the fastest man on the field. Castillo again from 16 yards out. The Falcons put the Panthers' season to sleep. Final score, 35-22. Heading east to Mosinee, the Indians looking for their third straight GNC title to themselves. They're hosting Merrill. The game plan early, get the ball to Keegan Jershley. He takes the reverse here and look at him slithering his way out of a phone booth. He's down to the five before Gavin Obremski finishes it off with a touch pass to Aiden Shaughnessy. Next defensive series, it's that number four guy again. Jershley picks it off, and he is gone. Play the fight song. Mosiny rolls and stays unbeaten, 49 to nothing. Now to the volleyball court. WVC champs Everest and Newman wearing orange to support the neighbor's place tonight. We get there in the third set. Cardinals looking to attack the middle, but there's Izzy Craggy with the massive block. So later, Newman attacks from the edge, and this time it works. Camille Sebalewski with the big hit. Momentum would stay with the cards for the rest of the set. Paige Gold and Lily Shields get two big aces to close it out. But the Cardinals win the third one, but the trees come storming back, and they take this one in five sets. Out on the pitch, the number one seed in Division III, Mosinee, hosting the Medford Red Raiders, looking to close out the season on a nine-game win streak. The car shot on goal, saved by the keeper, Kale Scholes. Another attack for the Indians now, Jaeger Dine sending up the assist for his forward, George Ellis, and the chase downs rewarded with a friendly roll. Mosiny holds on 3-1 to one to earn their first ever Great Northern Conference title in school history. Plenty more highlights coming your way tomorrow night right here on Sports Express, but we got to catch a break. Don't go anywhere.